Linking your CRM system to any advertising platform has a number of different benefits. Now, while there are a ton of different CRMs out there and we can't go through all of them, one that we've heard gain a lot of popularity recently is Klaviyo. Combine that with a long-term interest in Facebook and Instagram advertising, and you get a Paid Media Pros video showing you how to link the two platforms. So today, we're gonna to talk through how to link Klaviyo and Facebook, and then talk about the lead generation and audience strategies that you can get out of that integration. I'm gonna run through the setup of this integration from the Klaviyo side, because I think it gives us a few more options and a few different controls in setup than it does if we do it from the Facebook side. I will show you here in a little bit when we get to the forms library, how you can integrate Klaviyo and Facebook from that side. But again, I think that this side is gonna be the better option for most of you. So I'm on the dashboard right now. And as you can see, there is a nice little pop-up that says that we can integrate with Facebook advertising. So this would be an easy way for me to just click this. But if for some reason you don't have this pop-up in your account, I wanna show you how to navigate to the integration itself. So we're gonna come over here in the left-hand navigation and go to integrations. And you can see that this account already has a WooCommerce integration enabled, but to add a new one, we need to come over here and click all integrations. And then you can either scroll down until you find Facebook or you can do what I'm gonna do and just type in Facebook. Now we just need to click add integration. Here, Klaviyo is gonna give you a short overview of the benefits of tying these two together. So it's gonna be around custom audiences and lead generation ads. And again, we'll talk about each of those here in just a little bit. But next, I'm gonna come down to the bottom and click connect to Facebook advertising. At this point, we need to log into the right Facebook account that has access to the ad account that we're trying to sync to our Klaviyo dashboard. In this instance, I'm already synced and I'm already the right person, but if you did need to log into a different Facebook account, you do have that option. So if you're not logged in right away to the right one, not a problem, but I am. So I'm gonna click the blue continue as button. And now I'm gonna scroll through all of these and find the right page that I need to sync. Once I chose the page and click next, I need to tell Facebook what Klaviyo is allowed to do. Do I want it to manage ads, access leads, read content, create and manage ads, manage the account, and show a list of the pages you manage? Sure, all that sounds great. And now my two accounts are linked. So I'm gonna click okay. I've got one more confirm step before I integrate. So I'm gonna click integrate. So that was just to pick the page itself. Now I need to pick the advertising account that is tied to that page. So just come here, choose from the drop down. Luckily, this gives me the option to search. And now that I have the right ad account, I just need to connect. Now we're starting to be able to link specific assets within the Klaviyo account to the Facebook advertising account. So the first option is going to be to choose custom audiences that we import from Klaviyo to Facebook. So there's going to be two sides where we need to choose an audience for this. The Klaviyo side, so whatever list or segment you have in Klaviyo, then you need to choose which custom audience you want to assign that to in Facebook. So to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and just pick a list from this Klaviyo side. We're just gonna import the newsletter list. And then from the Facebook side, I currently don't have any audiences. So I'm going to create an audience from scratch. You can give it a name and I'm going to make it clear that it is an imported list from Klaviyo and just name it the exact same thing as the Klaviyo list then create audience. So this might seem a little bit confusing as to why you have to choose a custom audience in Facebook. What this means is that you can essentially sync multiple Klaviyo lists or segments to a single custom audience. So that might be really useful if you wanna have one large audience that you want to create a lookalike off of or a large one that you want to exclude from your campaigns. Maybe people who have already purchased something, but also people that you have on an unsubscribe page. Maybe you wanna exclude them from campaigns. You can add multiple different segments to that custom audience. So you only have one within Facebook. Now, although they've given us just the one option here in this setup set, you can click add custom audience segment and you get to do the exact same thing where you can add multiple different lists or segments to Facebook custom audiences. But for now, I don't wanna do that, so I'm gonna exclude this. So now I'm done setting up my custom audiences. Now I'm going to start working on lead ads. So let's click continue. Again, we need to pick our Facebook page since I've tied to a number of them. And now we need to choose the lead ad from Facebook and assign it to a Klaviyo list. So when somebody is on the Facebook platform and they fill out your lead ad form, what list within Klaviyo do you want that user information to become a part of? This account is actually brand new and I'm setting up this integration for an account that we need to run these on. So at this point, I've only created a test form. 
but in your account, maybe you have multiple different forms that you've already created that you want to choose from here. But for me, I'm just going to use this test form. And then I'm going to choose the Clavio list that I want to assign that user to. We're going to stick with the same one. Again, just like the custom audiences, you do have the option to create multiple integrations during this setup process. But for now, I'm going to stick with just this one and go click done. Now the page looks a little bit different. I'm still on the integration and Facebook page, but you can see up at the top that the option is now to disable the integration rather than enable it. And the button down at the bottom is update settings. We can also add custom audience syncs directly from here, or we can adjust the lead ads and add a new lead ad in place as well. So again, anytime that you need to adjust or add any of the audiences or lead forms that you're using on Facebook, you can come to this integration section. At that point, you will go to the active integrations, choose Facebook, and add those new sections here. Now that we've integrated these things, I want to hop into Facebook and make sure that everything is working properly. So the first place I'm going to go is going to be into our audience manager. And just as we would hope, the Clavio newsletter list that I created just a couple of minutes ago is already in the account. It says it's ready, but it's too small after matching, which I knew it was going to be. That list is pretty small, but the integration was almost immediate. So if you don't see these audiences pop up relatively quickly after you create them, you might want to go back and make sure that you did everything right. Just as you would with any other audience that's in here, whether it's a custom audience or a saved audience, you can apply these at the ad set level, either as a target audience or as an excluded audience. You can also create a lookalike audience off of this segment just by checking the box here coming up to these three dots and then create lookalike. You can then go through all the steps to actually create that lookalike, but I'm not going to do it right now. But you can see how easy it was to create a lookalike audience of users off of your Clavio newsletter list. The last thing I want to do in Facebook is make sure that our lead gen ads are being integrated properly to the list that I selected in that integration process. So to get to the lead form library, I'm going to go to the meta business suite. This setup is a little bit different than it used to be in the past, but you'll probably get there pretty quickly. So we're going to go over to all tools and then we'll come down to instant forms in the advertise section. Here you can see the test form that I've already created and this is the one that we want to test. So the good news is that this process is also pretty easy. So I can just check the box here. You'll see the preview off to the right show up and again it is just a test form so it is very ugly. But to test the form all I need to do is click the little blue link here that says test form. We have the lead ad that would pop up with the two pieces of information. So now I'm just going to click next and then hit submit. I don't need to view the website, so I'm going to close that out. And now I want to hop back into Clavio and check the newsletter list where I assigned all of these lead gen forms to be put. It's only been a couple of minutes, but I'm not seeing the lead form come through just yet. But there is another way that I can check to see if I have the different integrations set up properly. I can also utilize this step to see how the audiences are set up. So if you're in a list or segment in Clavio, or you realize this is where your lead gen form should go from Facebook, you can easily come over into settings while you're in a specific list or segment. And then there will be a Facebook advertising section over here off to the side. If you don't have it set up, I believe it's a little bit bigger over to the left and there'll be an integrate button. But here you can see this list is syncing with the Clavio newsletter Facebook custom audience. So you can view the status of that. You can change the audience or you could delete the sync with the Clavio newsletter. So it shows that the audience is set up properly. And then it also shows that this list is currently syncing new leads from the test form within Facebook. It also shows that you can add more lead ad forms to go to this list or you can remove the test form by clicking remove right next to it. So even though the lead form didn't show up for this demo video, I'm pretty confident that it's still set up properly. And I can't want to stand here for hours and hours and hours to see if it worked. Although I talked about them periodically throughout the video, I do think it's important to close out by talking specifically about the benefits of syncing a platform like Clavio and Facebook. For lead generation forms, it is extremely important to make sure that the user experience from a lead gen form is very similar to how it would be if somebody converted on your website. So syncing the leads from your Facebook ads account into Clavio and putting them immediately into the same workflows and follow-up sequences that other users would be a part of is very important. Otherwise, you won't know if the change in performance is due to that change in workflow or simply because the quality of leads coming from Facebook is different than all the other sources. On the audience front, there are a number of different ways you can use audiences from Clavio into Facebook. 
if you have a high value list in Klaviyo that you want to re-engage with through remarketing, you can utilize that as a targeted custom audience in your campaigns. You can also utilize those same lists to exclude users from your Facebook ads campaigns. Maybe these people are already customers or they've opted out of advertising or follow-ups in the past. This way you can leave them out and you're not going to be spending money on people that aren't going to help your business succeed. Lastly, any of the audiences that you import into Facebook from Klaviyo can be used to create a lookalike audience so you can prospect for new users on the platform. Each one of those different lists from Klaviyo could also effectively have a different persona. Maybe your email newsletter folks look different on Facebook than your customers do. So utilizing a lookalike of each of them could help you lean into those differences and find new users across a wide range of people as opposed to just focusing on one of them. Overall, here at Paid Media Pros, we think it is in your best interest to always have your platform synced as thoroughly as you can because it makes it easier for you to track performance and optimize based on those different platforms when they're speaking the same language. Hopefully this walkthrough has helped you understand the nuances of the Klaviyo integration and you can get started with it in your account today. If you have any other questions or comments, always feel free to drop us a line in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you want to get notified of when a new one comes out, be sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel.